Ah, oh, good morning. Is your pretty little girl reporting from the from the courtyard of the Brim Cafe in Parksville, British Columbia, affecting an Irish accent in order to attract more subscribers? Or oh, eat your lucky charms? <laughs> so Conor McGregor, the great Irish combatant, succumb to the veteran strategy of Floyd Mayweather last night in Las Vegas. That's actually all I had to say today. Mm. Great fighting spirit. You know, it's Floyd Mayweather doesn't really have, to me, the same fighting spirit as uh, as Connor does, so I was really happy with Connor's fighting spirit, and uh, I think if they had a rematch, Connor would probably pretty much definitely take him down, but uh, he wasn't prepared for some of what he saw, and he lost fair and square, fair play as Connor would say, but um, I actually prefer watching Connor fight than I, I don't think I'd ever watch a Mayweather fight unless Floyd Mayweather was fighting Connor McGregor, because um, Floyd Mayweather is not an interesting person to watch fight, but he wins fights, so. Yeah. Oh. Start the day with a little poetry just to get the old palette going here. An unbidden place without a trace, a myth of myth or word of lie. A grace of wit and whimsy lifted better to commute. One future and another future better to defy a war no more than lifted from. The vintage harvest and the fruits. I talk about a family tree a lot. I talk about um, whole brain function. Um, I can only state on my own behalf that I continue to be intrigued that from day to day is maintained a great interest on my part in the relationship between a whole mind function and family tree, which I consider a euphemism for whole brain function, and for celestial biology, which is the entire biology of our birth, and the development of our bodies, which answer for a lot of the development of our minds and our minds, a lot of the development of our bodies. So, um, then there's this the very patently simple observation that everything that we are, for all intents and purposes, is constantly embroiled in an ocean of cause and effect. That taken into the system and considered, you know, brimming or the cup of all of the senses, seems to suggest a uniform substance to life, of oceanic and amnionic and astronomical proportions of life and death. <laughs> 